worshipped as a goddess, Lady Styx. The DC Universe has no dearth of cool female villains. The women are actually quite formidable and include the likes of Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Enchantress and Lady Shiva. It also must be noted that these characters shine in a whole new light in their comic book appearances. Today, we're taking a look at a relatively new female DC villain, Lady Styx. Lady Styx first appeared pitted against Adam Strange, Animal Man and Starfire in 52 number 31 as the main antagonist in all her glory. She later appeared in Countdown to Adventure and Omega Men. Lady Styx cult popped up in Ran Thanagar, Holy War, but she was not visible. Lady Styx was apparently invented to be an antagonist comparable to Darkseid, who they perceived was being overused, according to Keith Giffen, 52's breakdown artist. One of the most memorable dialogues is, Behold the new beginning. Behold the Alpha Woman. I am Lady Styx and I am God. She is immensely powerful and worshipped and revered by many. Her origins are shrouded in mystery and she has the power to take down seasoned heroes. Now, with her rumoured to be the main villain in upcoming Blue Beetle movie, let us take a look at this galactic goddess. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like this content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thanks so much. Let's begin. Who is Lady Styx? The first thing to know about Lady Styx is that she is strong enough that only her presence is enough to alarm the guardians of the universe who believe she comes from far beyond the known cosmos. She is believed to be older than time itself and has lived through many ages with one singular goal. The lady who is worshipped as a deity by her believers sends out her vast armies to pillage planetary systems and turn their inhabitants into her immortal slaves. This process of rampage and collection of people to add to her armies is called the Stygnia Passover. This, in her warped mind, is a way to bring order to chaotic universe by trying to unite all people and species as one race with one goal, to worship her. But of course, the best way to unite all species in the universe is through more chaos. The troops that serve Lady Styx in her twisted vision are referred to as Dark Stars, named after the defunct intergalactic peacekeeping force with the same name. These indoctrinated beings that are converted into zombies and stripped of their individual personalities preach her glory and encourage their adversaries to believe in her. Quite the cult, eh? As far as appearances go, Lady Styx is not like your usual femme fatale and is often depicted surrounded by chaos, with her being at the very centre of it all. She has silver skin, often depicted as blue in the comics, and has four hands. She always has a menacing look about her, and visually is quite terrifying. She is also immensely powerful due to her ability to practically strip individuals of their identities and make them her blind followers who would do absolutely anything for their god. Lady Styx put a target on the heads of Starfire, Adam Strange and Animal Man, who were stuck in space after the infinite crisis in her first full-length appearance in 52. The trio of space heroes end up deciding to take a stand against her after witnessing the devastation caused by her believers and dreading that their home realms could be next. They were able to enlist the help of a hesitant Lobo who had recently converted to Christianity. Lobo led them to Lady Styx under the guise of trying to collect their bounty before attacking her throne room in full force. The ensuing fight would also lead to Animal Man's apparent death due to a necrotoxin, although he would later be resurrected by the very aliens who had originally bestowed upon him his powers. Lady Styx was later subsumed by a Sun Eater during a battle with the Green Lantern Ekron. However, bad guys don't stay dead for very long at all and she was able to grow new flesh for herself from a pregnant captive some time later, leading to her resurgence. Lady Styx has made a comeback in several locations after her 52 appearance. 
She is the source of Captain Comet's death and resurrection in the pages of Mystery in Space, a cycle that started when her troops fought him in their first appearance. She would also go on to battle the Omega Man when she attempted to recreate the universe and take up the role of God herself by seeking out powerful artifacts known as Heartstones. Lady Styx, who appears to be stuck in another dimension, appears as a giantess in this. She tries to grow new skin from the bodies of her believers once more. Using the stones as a focal point, she creates a new massive body by merging and reconfiguring the bodies of her servants. The Omega Men foil her plan and she is murdered by a revived and energized Felicity who was the wife of the Omega Men's Commander-in-Chief, Tigor, now renamed Nimbus. Lady Styx, on the other hand, appeared to be able to maintain her consciousness within Felicity's subconscious. The Lady sat there with patience poised to attack once more. She has the most annoying annoying habit of staying alive or clawing her way back into the world of the living no matter how many times she's taken out, making her a massive headache for the heroes. Lady Styx Interesting Comic Story Arc As we all know, Lady Styx always finds her way back and has been resurrected post her death. Notably, she had a pivotal role in the story arc of Ran of Thanaga, Holy War Countdown to Adventure. Post her death at the hands of Felicity, only very few strongly held that Lady Styx had been permanently destroyed. And they were right to not put much faith in her demise as it appears that she had regenerated. Lady Styx wanted to exact her vengeance on Earth and also Ran. So she infected Stephen the Champ Hazard, a Hollywood movie star. Styx infected Hazard after learning that Sardaf had selected the celebrity to substitute Adam Strange as Ran's protector as Strange was starting to perform poorly in his responsibilities. During the filming of his latest movie, Sardath transported Hazard. Sardath's decision, of course, did not sit well with Adam, and Strange could see that Sardath was not acting like himself. Turns out that Sardath had dismissed his trust in science and adopted Lady Styx's philosophy as his religion. The spread of her Stygnian virus resulted in the formation of a radical group of followers. On Earth, there were numerous random outbursts of people acting homicidal and psychopathic, and on run, the populace rallied around a new hero, an Earthman named Champ Hazard, who was far more destructive and violent than Adam Strange with her guidance. Hazard started rallying people to believe in her and soon amassed a large number of bloodthirsty followers ready to do Lady Styx's bidding. However, when things looked extremely bleak, Adam manages to defeat Hazard, thus destroying Patient Zero of the Stygnian virus. But the battle isn't over because the virus continues to spread like an epidemic on both planets. In the meantime, the Thanagarians get involved as the Deacon urges them to attack Ran. Despite the Ranians being free of Lady Styx's direct influence, they continue to worship her as a god, albeit not as fervently. In the event of Ran Thanaga, Holy War, her influence on Ranian culture is significant. When Sarath learns of the Grand Moor's impending invasion, he decides to confront him and destroy Thanaga in Lady Styx's name. Later, when Adam Strange learns of Sinar's merger with the Nameless, he decides to divide his resources in order to defeat Lady Styx and Sinar, and Strange recognizes that Starfire's abilities are the only way to end Lady Styx's occupation of Throne World. Thus, she was one of the primary influences behind a massive comic war. This goes on to show the hold she truly has on her legions of followers who believe her until the very end. Interestingly, when Styx was a child, a scarab named Kaji Da tried to possess her while she was playing with her dolls. However, its attack on her seemed to have triggered the evolution of her formidable abilities. She summoned dollies, which were gigantic figures made of dark matter, and instructed them to tear the invader apart and remove all of its legs. Styx's parents raced out of their rooms to check on Styx after Kaji Da managed to flee from the terrifying child. She told her parents that she had made something to defend her because she didn't have anyone else to shield her and thus she had to look out for herself. 
She then used what appeared to be mind control to send a jolt of electricity to her parents and other people. Other than the fact that her name has become synonymous with terror, nothing else has been revealed about her. This makes her an intriguing villain with a lot of space for character development and extended story arcs. If the rumors are true, we will be seeing her on the big screen soon. If you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already done so. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.